Golfers, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I have a really interesting topic for you. And that is going to be how to get rid of your shanks forever. We are back on the course on hole number six in Zala Springs. This hole is a really easy one and it might be a really good birdie chance for most players. Most of the time you're gonna find yourself on the fairway after a good tee shot and you're gonna always see that you have a really short approach shot onto this green. For now, as an example, I have 100 meters to the flag, which is in the back of the green. As you can see, the green is a bit narrow and there are bunkers on the right side and on the left side of the green. So it's really important to actually hit a straight shot to this flag. Now, if we hit a shank, for sure you're gonna find somewhere on the right side, which is gonna make us to hit a bogey or a double bogey. But let's see why it happens sometimes that we hit a shank and sometimes we hit a really good shot. For this shot, most of the time I'm gonna use a 52 degree wedge. I know this club flies 100 meters spot on. Let's see, if I'll take the setup position and uh, I'll swing to the top of the backswing, most of the time when you hit a shank is because you try to hit the ball too hard in a way that is not really productive because your hips are gonna just slide towards the golf ball to the ball to target line and in this way your hips are actually a bit closer than when you started and the hands need to move closer or closer to the ball to target line the head moves outside already and then you find yourself hitting the ball in the hosel so it's as simple as that because you try to put too much power from the top of the backswing, your brain sees a straight line, the lines that your body is now. So straight line means somewhere that way, so he's gonna push the hips there, and then he's gonna turn, but then I'm already too close to the golf ball. So I move myself closer to the ball to target line, and I'm not gonna be able in this way to make contact on the center of the club face. Now, I know myself, I hit lots of shanks, so I know what it means to have that shot. It's awful shot, but let's see if I can replicate it for you. So as you can see, the ball went to the right side. It got into the bunkers. So I pushed myself, I pushed my hips a bit closer to the ball. And in that way, I managed to hit the, the shank. Now let's see a really easy drill to get rid of this shot and not see that ball flying to the right anymore. For this drill, all we're gonna need is gonna be two alignment sticks and we're gonna learn with them how to maneuver our weight during the downswing in order to have a bit more effective transition and to have a bit better way of going through the ball. In this way, the hips are actually going to work on the straight line that is parallel to the ball to target line. And in this way, we're gonna keep our hips further away and we're gonna be able to strike the ball in the middle of the club face. So let's see, we're gonna take quickly the line over here. And now I'm gonna try to place the alignment sticks parallel to that line as much as possible. And what I want you to do now is to put your middle of your feet onto the sticks. In this way, I'll just pull the ball a bit closer. In this way, you're gonna feel better your weight on your feet. So when you start, I want you to have 60% of your weight on the balls of the feet and 40% towards the heel. Now, when you go to the back swing, I want you to feel like you load that trail knee with more weight and you're gonna have a bit of weight on the toe of your lead foot. So the back swing would mean that the weight is on that line of my feet. During the transition, what I want you to feel is that you're gonna turn your hip and you're gonna figure out that your toe from the trail foot is gonna have the weight and now all your weight is, mainly all your weight is going to be on the heel of the front foot. And in this way, basically we load the first di diagonal that the body is gonna be in the backswing. And then we're gonna try to push the other way 
So now I'm gonna, my weight is on the diagonal going left of the target. And in this way, it's gonna be really easy for you that you're gonna feel yourself further away. The hips are gonna feel further away from the ball to target line. And you're gonna find out slowly that you're gonna be able to hit the middle of the club face. Or if you overdo this feeling, you're gonna hit the beat the ball on the toe. And for a shanker, this would be a really good achievement because we managed to move away from that spot. So let's see how this works in an actual shot and how I'm going to load my feet in order to make sure that the ball is hit in the middle of the club face. That was the right way of doing the drill. Now, let's see if you still keep shanking the golf ball, how is your weight actually moving onto the stick? So I'll take the same setup on the sticks, wait a bit towards my toes. Even if you make the backswing good, if the hips are going a bit closer, you're gonna find out that when you hit the ball, your weight is going to be mainly towards your toes. So you can see that my heels are in the air, both of them. And in this way, I move my, myself a bit closer and that's gonna result in a shank. This is why it's important to understand how your weight is moving during the backswing and the downswing. And that is going to cure any shank that you have with all the clubs in the golf bag. So once again, just quickly, we're gonna go in the backswing, load the trail here with weight, and a little bit of the weight is gonna be on the toe of the lead foot. Then, during the transition, I want you to basically just change the weight. The, the right toe, the trail toe is gonna go in the ground, and then the heel of the lead foot is gonna go in the ground as well. So basically, it's going to be like a dance. One, and then two. Change the weight, and you can see that I'm still, my hips are staying back, and I have enough space here, I created enough space to hit the golf ball. So I'm sure that this drill is going to actually help you to get rid of those shanks and not mark that part of the club anymore. If you enjoyed this video and the drill, feel free to subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, and I will see you next week at the Solution Golf.